All right, I'm gonna start a project uh, here on the front porch. Since uh, it's nice outside, not too hot or whatever, so I thought I would install none other than our shutters. So I've already got, uh, tried them out on another window <laughs> to work out all the kinks, <laughs> and I had kinks. So um, now that I've got that done, I know how I'm gonna do it. Uh, so let me show you what we got. Now, of course, we have black shutters. That is our accent trim color. The only thing that uh, I have against, against, so the one thing that I can say is I do not like about these shutters. We have one, they're plastic. This isn't the great, greatest in the world. But they come with this bag of I don't know if you can call them screws or bolts or anchors. This is what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to drill a hole through the, uh, through the shutters and drill a hole through your whatever your siding is or your, your wood or whatnot. And, and these, are, these go in. And supposedly, those little, uh, those little uh, grooves are supposed to hold it in to the wood. Our problem is, is we have metal siding. So... If you drill the hole the same size that, that it goes in the siding, then when you hammer this in, the siding literally cuts off all of those little grooves. Then there's nothing holding it inside the hole. So I didn't like that. And so for me, I'm not using them. So I went to the store and what I found was true screws with a huge head on the end of them. Uh, it's a Tex Bic, Tex, uh, bit. I think it is a T30. Big old bit for this. Already painted black, ready to go. I just drill a, a, a pilot hole in it and then screw them in. Now, on the back of these shutters, it kind of has these spots here for the screws where they're going to mount an anchor to it. So what I'll do is I'll take my drill and I'll drill through this through each one of these holes. There's six of them. It'll come out on the front We'll have a hole, and then when we have that, that's where we'll hold it up to the siding, and we'll screw it in. And sweat just went in my eye, and it's burning. <laughs> first things first, I'm going to drill the holes. And all six. And when I'm done with that, I'll get to anchor them. Now these shutters are 30, uh, 47 inches long. Windows are 48. So it doesn't quite go all the way to the top, all the bottom. It's close enough though. barn I really got lucky because where these screw heads go across that is where there is a two by four or two by yeah two by four or two by six on the inside so I will actually be screwing into a two by four or two by six both at the top and the bottom down here I barely miss it so I go on the inside and I put a string an extra two by four string board so that I can string into that I already got one started so torque it down too much at first just want to get it to where it holds it and holds it in place while we get to drill in the other holes so now that it's there Now 
All I'm trying to do is just drill through the tin. I'm not trying to drill into the board. sitting right on the edge of that so it's a little bit hard. That's it. Looks good. Really, I like those screw heads. Hold it in there good and tight. Louvers are pointed down the way I want them. Holes are minimal in the siding. Liking it. Okay, so without the benefit of editing and cutting the paste, whatever, I'm gonna do one in real time. No stopping to tell you what I'm doing. So here's what it really takes.
Hey guys, Cindy Lynn here and Mr. Paintbrush. I am working this weekend on getting the white French door with the side lights here painted black. Uh, we were going to opt in to just buying a black door, but it was a lot more expensive. So we just decided to get the cheaper one and just go ahead and paint it ourselves. So that's what I'm working on this weekend. And I have been working on just this one little section here for almost an hour already. So it's pretty time consuming, but it's also going to take a second coat as you can see. Some of the white is shining through. Now the doors did come primed already with the white paint. So I was hoping that I could just get by with one coat, but it's not going to work out. So two coats it is, and I'm hoping that'll even be enough. So we'll see. Okay. It's mostly done. I still have to put a second coat on and finish the left side of the door here. It's pretty much taken most of the day, probably four hours to get to this point. It's not a fast process. It looks like it would be quick, but it's not, not at all. <laughs> 